Yo 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 what's up guys it's Arp here in today's tutorial I will show you guys how to edit like excel A bunch of you guys have been asking for this so uh, I decided to make it For this tutorial the only plugins you will need is a universe and software plugins If you don't have them check my discord server link down below And basically other than that drop a like drop a sub And by the way let's see how many w comments we can get down below Imagine if the whole comment section is just spammed with w's Okay guys so I'm basically in the winter result right now basically we want to start off as usual to just sync up our clips and adding velocity and all of that simple stuff for this tutorial I will be using two clips and this is basically what I have right now pretty clean in my opinion we're actually gonna start off by adding the color correction since it's best to do it in the beginning since you need to add all the effects on the color correction but basically if you want to have the color correction then basically go to effects to begin an adjustment clip and make so the adjust clip is as long as all of your clips like this go to the fusion tab and in the description you should find the google draw folder and in that google draw folder you should find a preset called simply ccrp Download that direct in like this. No plugins needed for this. I just messed around with some colors. Go back to edit tab, but then basically right click on temperature and cache color bit. But for now we can disable it since it will just add some extra lag while we're adding the effect. But we're gonna start off by adding the first build up. How to basically do that is find the shot of impact on the first clip. If you didn't know that's the first room CD is like red and yellow, it does appear so for me it's bright, it will see a bit of them. They're kind of smushed out, I don't know why. But then basically go to fix and drag in an adjustment clip and make sure the adjust clip ends on the shot of impact. But make sure that you don't make the adjustment clip shorter. So drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact. Then basically just hover over the adjustment clip, go to the fusion tab and in the same good draw folders. All the other times you should find a preset called Excel Build Up 1 RP. Don't that drag in like this and connect it. You will need the universe and software plugins for this, but it's a really cool kind of VHS effect in a way. But basically, right click on the adjust clip and press render cache color put. Now you can make the adjust clip shorter from the beginning if you want. Now we're gonna basically add the first impact. Same thing, find shot of impact, go to fix to get an adjustment clip, make sure the adjust clip starts at the shot of impact. Hover over the adjust clip, go to the tab. In single, the ruffle should run press called Excel Impact 1 drag it in like this it will be pretty long so you might have to zoom out like this only plugin needed for this is the software plugin it's a pretty common plugin so most of you guys should have it go back to edit tab right click on to press render cache color but now you can make it shorter from the end if you want and it's kind of a uh, kind of wavy blurry glowy impact i don't know if that made sense but now we're basically done with the first kind of clip and now we're gonna go over to adding the transition and the transition is actually really fun to do. You need to find the like frame where your clips transition. So basically here, go to fix and rig in our adjustment clip above everything and just make it so it is above your two clips. Hover over the adjust clip and go to the fusion tab and in single draft files all the other times you should find a preset called Excel Transition RP. But it's just done that tricking like this and only plugins need sapphire then basically how to sync this transition up with your clip so it actually is a transition if you look at your kind of playback up here you should see like four white dots that represents the keyframes basically what you need to do is to find these two keyframes close to each other in the middle so the second one and the third one go right there go to edit tab press M on your keyboard to put on the marker so we know that that's where the transition should happen drag the adjust clip and make so that mark we just placed is exactly in the middle of your two clips if you have your magnet tool on that should help out right click on the adjust clip and press on the cache code then you can make it shorter from the end if you want and this basically how it should look in my opinion it's a really like classic excel transition really smooth and clean but now we can basically add the clips to the second clip. Same thing, go to the shot of impact of the second clip, go to effect and drag in the adjustment clip and make sure the adjust clip ends at the shot of impact. Make sure that you don't make the adjust clip shorter or anything. It can be a bit awkward that it has to be above everything, but you can drag it down after when we apply the preset. Then basically just hover over the adjustment clip, go to the fusion tab, in single draft you should find a preset called Excel Build Up 2 RP, drag it in like 
this it's a simple use saturation and um a shake several points needed for this go back to edit tab right point and press render cache cover but now you can make it short from the beginning if you want and also drag it down a bit just so your timeline isn't that messy but now we're gonna add the kind of impact same thing right there go to fix the beginning just click make it to start just to shut off impact hover over the just clip go to fusion tab and single draw for the shit where i press it called excel impact 2 drag it in like this and connect it only stuff points needed by the way go back to edit tab right click on the press friend cache code but now you can make it short from the end if you want now we're basically done with all the effects and the transitions so now we can enable the color correction now if you want as you see guys you can try to disable it enable it by pressing d sometimes and just see what you think looks clean i just think that this adds some brightness and now we're actually going to add the rsmb go to open effects just to chop rsmb drag it in like this and drag it on both clips and basically what i recommend to you do is go to fx press use gpu to on that will just make it less lag in my opinion and i also think that you can drag up the blur amount just a bit to like 0 0.55 or maybe even 60 but make sure that you don't do too drastic changes and sensitivity you can drag up to maybe 80 in my opinion looks clean and basically make sure that you have the same like settings for both the clips and that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, please consider and drop a like as well as subscribing. As you know, I'm back with daily uploads, so turn on that note bell so you can get the coolest effects first. But now, see you guys in the next video. Bye. By the way, check this video out. It's actually really good.